we've had this conversation. You've had it in your own life and 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 we've had it uh, in 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 multiple places where we see that the agency class in the United States is not actually focused on what it is the agency is supposed to be doing. Rather, they're focused on everything else. If the CDC can then in tell us that, well, guns are a threat to uh, national security and safety, and so we have to do something about guns via the Centers for Disease Control, you realize that they believe they can do anything. And what we've created in the United States is this completely unaccountable group, this fourth branch of government, the agency class that isn't responsible to us, that isn't accountable to us. They have a budget that is near unlimited. They say something that has the full effect of law. It is a complete bypassing of Congress. Now, in a, in, a, in a standard world, in a normal world, in a thinking world, what you would have is rules and regulations, thoughts and philosophies that actually make things better. But if, as Glenn points out in this piece that you can find over there at the New York Post, if we're engaged in mission creep, how does one focus on what the mission is? And if we're talking about the very critical things about safety and security, but instead, the FBI wants to go about surveilling Trump supporters for 2024, or as Glenn points out, going after churches, then how could you possibly keep an eye on the person who wants to set the church on fire? We hear about this in, in, its most, in, in the most immediate way of what value is the terror watch list when we see somebody commit an act of terrorism who was on the terror watch list? And the answer is, there is no purpose to it. Who watches the watch list and what happens to these people when something happens? No FBI member gets fired. No, no one on this organization gets fired or in this agency gets fired. No one ever loses their job for it. No one ever suffers the consequences of their failure. But somehow we're supposed to be rest assured or, 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 or feel secure because a watch list exists. We can only feel secure if the job is done. How Israel didn't do their job is beyond understanding. And if it's this idea of Mossad focused on these judicial reforms as opposed to the enemy, that's a whole nother conversation. Was Israel complacent? Ah, we've got a fence and we've got an iron dome. We're fine. No, the enemy doesn't think that. You get lulled into it. The enemy still hates you. This is a huge warning for the United States. We should be very focused on it.